Just how deep do these Hero 12 underwater protective cases dive? And is it worth the extra dollars to get the original GoPro housing? Or should you just go with the Alibaba special? Let's find out. The official housing that you get from GoPro is about five times more expensive than the cheap version you can find from Alibaba or Amazon. But is it really five times better? Let's see what you get for your money. Right away when you pick them up, the GoPro does seem a bit heavier and more rugged. Let's put them on a scale to confirm. Ninety five grams versus eighty three grams. So it's definitely not five times heavier. Now the polycarbonate on the GoPro also seems clearer than on the cheaper version, which has this yellowish tint to it. In addition, the GoPro has this aluminum ring protecting the lens cover. And also it has this additional safety switch for the latch to prevent you from accidentally opening it underwater. Whereas on the cheaper version, there's no safety switch on the latch and it's actually quite easy to open. Now, both of these are rated to 60 meters or 196 feet. So let's see if they live up to that claim. I'm going to test them without the camera inside so we can see right through the case. And just to make more visible, we'll smear a bit of water finding paste, which is normally used to detect the presence of water in fuel tanks. We'll start with the original case and I'll keep the paste away from the seal so it can do its job. It goes on like mustard, but once the water touches it, it should turn a bright red. This is probably the first time this paste is used in this type of manner, so it should be fun to watch.
Let's take this just a little deeper, just for kicks. It looks like the seal filled at 214 meters, which is pretty impressive, considering the case is only rated to 60 meters. Let's review the video to see what happened. Judging from the distortion of the light reflecting off the polycarbonate case, the housing begins deflecting inwards at 60 meters, which matches the depth rating, interestingly enough. I was expecting the cover seal in the back to fail, but Rather, it was the front lens gasket that extruded out at 214 meters. After bringing the internal pressure in the case all the way up to 5,924 psi, I dropped the external pressure to see the opposite effect, and the cover seal blew out because this seal was only designed to work in one direction. This paste took a bit longer than expected to change color, but the leak was pretty obvious. I guess this case did its job up to the claimed 60 meter depth rating. Now let's see how the cheaper housing compares. It looks like this case made it past the 60 meter mark as well. The front glass imploded at 90 meters, but if we review the video again, we can see why this case only cost $10. The case actually begins deflecting inwards at 5 meters. At 10 meters, the latch begins opening itself as the case continues squeezing all the way up to the implosion. So although the housing is waterproof up to 60 meters, by the time you reach that depth, the camera would have been completely crushed. It looks like you really do get what you pay for, as proven on this test today. I wouldn't use this case in anything deeper than a backyard pool. But honestly, if you already forked out 400 bucks for a Hero 12, 
Just spend the extra $40 and get the original housing to protect your camera. It's a no-brainer. But if you're a scuba diver planning to go deeper, or you're just a baller looking to film your kids in your indoor pool, then get the Italian-made all-metal Isola GoPro housing, which is rated to 200 meters. And of course, it's finished off in Ferrari red. Before you go, I have a bonus test for you guys. I figured you probably want to see a real GoPro being crushed on the way down while recording. Luckily, I was able to pick up a used GoPro, but do me a favor. If you guys haven't subscribed already and you like the content on this channel so far, please consider subscribing so we can continue doing these cool experiments and keep the channel going. The 5,000 sub milestone is within striking distance and we might reach that goal on this episode. Thanks for all the current subscribers for your support. Now let's watch. Thank <laughs> you.
This original housing was also rated to 60 meters, and it looks like the case sprung a tiny leak at 104 meters. The recording ended at 146 meters because the pressure at this point was enough to activate the front button, which closed the camera. Another interesting thing to note is that we took the camera down to 3.6 kilometers, and there was a temporary 5.5 ton force acting on the card itself. Amazingly, the card was still working after I dried it out. If you guys are wondering, this is the card I used for the test, which is known for its reliability in extreme environments. But if they're submerged long enough in salt water, they'll eventually be destroyed. Maybe on a future episode, we'll subject the memory cards to implosion forces, if you guys are interested. That'll be it for today. Remember, you could be a hero too. Not by strapping this thing to your forehead, but by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. At least you'll be my hero. Shout out to Enrique. And for all the folks who dip their flippers in the water, the PSA for today is... Don't drink and dive. Cheers.